Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. Um, we're going to get right into it. It should be a short one, but you'll see for reasons why. In the chapel, stop doubting and believe, John 2027. Um, I've had one of those aha things this week, and <coughs> I just need to stop doubting. Um, God has a plan, I know it but I don't know the plan. I know he has a plan. I just don't know the plan. So I always, ah. So getting right into totally hooked. I have nothing. I'm still working in the baskets on the same stuff. Um, and in the dye pots, you saw the green and gray. I haven't found a pattern yet for that. So I haven't started it. Um, I've been super busy. Uh, I got called into work early this week, and then I have another thing that I'm doing today. Yesterday was taken up in the farmhouse. I'll explain all of it. So, the only thing I have is on the wheel, and I have plied, spun and plied all of the lovely, um, it's trying to focus. All the lovely uh, maroon or eggplant. I don't know what color you'd want to say. It's my color. <laughs> I like. I love that color. Um, so I have that. I still haven't skeined it off. I don't know how many yards it made. It was eight ounces, and it was from Angora Jane, and it was a super wash merino. So yeah, I have that one, and no, I don't know what it's going to be yet. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> All right, in the fields, I did go out and just kind of give you a little clip of to show you what my setup is. I've got some little greens coming up, and that's about it so far. So I'll give you that clip right now. Okay, so here's my garden setup. I've got my tower and my greenhouse, and I thought about opening it up and showing you that some of them are sprouting, but I haven't because it is toasty warm in there. Um, we've noticed probably a 20 degree difference so i've got my seeds in there and i'm going to plant them in here when they get bigger they're just little bitty right now so not transplanting yet but i did plant some microgreens up top um i get out here every morning and water that i have not watered it yet so once the microgreens get in it it'll hold the water for the rest of it um and it won't dry out so fast yeah not much to see i was scared to open it because of the wind and how cool it was and you have to forgive the noise because we do live right near the highway so um but yeah i did open it up yesterday was like 80 some degrees and i did open it up and i opened it up in the daytime so that it i can water it and make sure everything's got enough to drink but it's steamy in there it is warm even with the oklahoma wind so yeah um rj's world uh he's been roping working for others and just it's springtime he's been super super busy um he's fighting to get his stuff done and help everybody that needs help you know it's it's vaccination calving season tagging season you know just working cattle season so he's been doing that and rodeoing um now i did take a clip so that you kind of see it's not a very good clip i just did them on my phone so and we do live right off the highway again so the noise is crazy and i hope you can hear me on those but here's a clip of okay so hitch and i are out here going potty and i thought i'd give you just a quick tour of the place because yes i can do it from just about here um it's small acreage um we're in the backyard behind the house right over there is a pond where you see these trees right here there's a pond um and that very back tree line is actually the property line so all the way up to the metal pipe and it goes across and we'll probably have four or five head out here and then we have the fenced in yard for the dog and then it also goes all the way down let me go over here um but it's a pie shaped is what we call it I don't know why maybe we just think food too much but anyway so 
Um, we do live right off the highway. That highway that you see is 169, which is the one that leads right to the farm. So we're just, we really are just a straight shot from each other. But it does make a lot of traffic. So um, this is where the cattle are going to be. Uh, we've got to fix. There's two strands on this front one right here that have to be fixed. And then there's a connection in the tree line that has to be done over there. So other than that, this is our yard for the dog. And the cattle will be out in those areas as soon as it dries up enough. Okay, so that's pretty much everything for except for in the farmhouse. It's not been a fiber productive week. Um, in the farmhouse, however, let's back up. I recorded on Monday, Tuesday at 5.30 in the morning. It was actually like 5.11, okay? Um, I got a call and had to go into work, and that's 5.30 in the morning, okay? So, yeah. I went to work Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I didn't get home till late because of work. So, those three days were out. Then Friday, of course, it was Good Friday, and roommate was at work. So, I did, I went and got a ham and potatoes and... I don't know just a meal we went and got a small meal um, Friday and then um, Saturday <clears throat> I worked on my bedroom because I'm struggling to find homes in my bedroom for everything that I have for me okay um, my whole life is bigger than one bedroom and it's not that roommate doesn't let me put stuff throughout the house I have my wheels out um, I have stuff that it, it's definitely a mix of both of us but <laughs> I have a lot of fiber stuff and that stuff needs to go in my um, room and I uh, have redone that room again and I'm just struggling to set it up so that it's usable there's um, one closet for my clothes there's one closet for storage um, but yeah, like my scanner won't go in a closet, either one of them. I have two, one my grandmother made and one has a, uh, is one that I purchased that had a counter on it. So yeah, those won't fit in. I've got some boxes. If I get a chance, I will take you back there and pop that clip in right. Okay. So I did move this around again. I have these two shelves up here and I have it stacked with stuff that I've brought from the house. I have... The storage done in here and then I did move my bed over to this side with it broke up and it having that row over here and a row over here the wheel fit on that wall but you couldn't do anything you couldn't get to this dresser right here which I don't have anything in that dresser and I don't know that it's gonna stay but you couldn't you just couldn't get to anything so the wheel is I say folded up but it's the big wheel is off of it and then it's just behind it these are the two scanners that I've got to figure out a way and then this stuff won't fit in the closet those two chairs go out in the back room and they're in here because we still have the back room to clean out and then this will probably go out to the back room too however that wall is not big enough for the wheel and you can't open the closet door if you put anything there so what will probably happen is this little spot right here will move over here and get this opened up and maybe get not so much store you know what I mean it won't look so junky right there but believe it or not it is more organized than it was um, Saturday and then I've got my I've got some shawls and and this I need to repair this um, I'll explain that in another video um, I've got to find a little piece of metal about that long and a little around and it's lost a pin so anyway this is and I moved these things over here uh yeah it's just that was on the wall before and I put it back because I don't know what to do with it <laughs> yeah so anyway but I've got my bed my light over my bed I can read and whatever in bed and then I've got that done. This is my bag for work and my folder for work. But other than that, yeah, I spent some time trying to rearrange this and find a better way to do this. But 
it, it is what it is. Okay, so if you saw the clip, great. If you didn't, I'm sorry. It means I couldn't get it in here. Um, so, and that goes for the other two clips too. So if you didn't see any clips, that's because I couldn't get them in there. Just saying. Uh, so I worked on my bedroom. Got it kind of straightened out. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Just trying to cram more stuff into a small bedroom than I'm used to. So I did that Saturday morning. Um, again, getting ready for Easter. Then roommate and I had, um, when the last storm came in and it was so cold and just uh, unexpected freeze, here comes another wave of, of that. Um, I called a young man that used to go to school just like a year or two ahead of my daughter. And I got some wood for the wood burning stove because we were down to just a little. Well, it was too cold to be out there doing wood. So we had him back in and just dumped the wood and yet yeah, made a mess. We used out of that pile. Well, this weekend we got out there and, and ricked it and stacked it and, and put it all where it goes, put T posts and, you know, put it all ricked up nice and pretty and then cleaned up where we had it dumped because it had, you know, shavings and just all the stuff you have from working on wood. So <coughs> put all that up, mowed the yard, we needed the yard. Um, I refinished a swing. No, I didn't do that till Sunday. Um, so Saturday we did all of that and just kind of cleaned up and got the house ready. <coughs> um, we ended up buying a new vacuum because we figured out that the other two that we had weren't sucking it out. We figured by, between two of them, they, it should be good. No, it's horrible. So we got rid of those two vacuums and got a brand new one. So I vacuumed everything. It looks great. You know, I had to put it together, blah, blah, blah. So cleaned up the house on Saturday. Sunday, um, we did a small, we, I moved two of the chairs around. We have a set of a table and four chairs. I moved two chairs around here to the front and we smoked a ham and, or grilled a ham. I don't know what you want to call it. Anyway, cooked a ham out on the grill for Easter and that. And then I had found this old swing. And so I uh, refinished it, I guess you'd say. Uh, I didn't have to do a whole lot of sanding on it. It just needed to be resealed. And so with the stain left over from the walls, I resealed it. And it's a polyurethane, so it'll do just fine outside. And it's actually an exterior polyurethane. Sorry, my contact's messing up. Uh, it was an exterior that we used in here in the interior because we wanted really it good sealed because this is the kitchen and you splash water. If you splash water, it beads up on this um, because we used exterior. So I went ahead and did the swing. And in our yard, we were talking and I think we're going to change up the yard a little bit. There's, I call it a T, um, and it makes two squares of yards that you have to hand push. And then you can riding mower the rest of it all out and around. Well, it's from the concrete, the sidewalk. So the sidewalk goes from the door out to the gate. And then there's a T off that goes to a door into the garage, which we never use. We have the grill sitting in front of that garage door. So it makes a square of grass here and a square of grass here. And I brought the chairs around so that we could sit and talk while we were making that ham out there. And... I think what I'm going to do, because it's not our house and I can't do anything real drastic, so I think I'm going to put a barrier down in that those squares and then put mulch on top and then <clears throat> I've either got to make a stand for that swing or I have to buy one. And we pretty much have said it just will come down to cost. Sorry, that's my work phone um it will pretty much come down to cost if it's more cost effective just to buy a frame i will and if not we will build one 
I like building stuff, so that's not even a problem. Um, but then we're going to have that little swing there. And I'm going to find some big pots. I'm going to go to garage sales and estate sales and get some big pots. Fill them with dirt out there. And then I'll have probably some tomato plants or some pepper plants from the back. The ones that do really well. I'll put them out front and see if we can't just to have some greenery around there. So that number one, we don't have to push mow two squares and riding one more the rest of the yard. Um, so it Hitch has got a pretty good running spot out there. It circles the whole yard. Um, front to back, it's a big U. Um, but it's just such a pain to push mow those two spots. So, um, yeah, we're looking for other solutions for that so that we don't have to push mow them. And like I said, I think putting the swing out there with some pots around it, even if I put flowers in them, you know, even if it's not tomato plant and bell pepper or whatever, it'd be better than push mowing a little square. Because right now we have to riding lawnmower, roommate riding with the riding lawnmower, I push mowed and then the weed eating got done. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot to have to use two mowers and a weed eater whereas if I could weed eat while roommate riding lawnmower instead of having to worry about that area it'd be good it cut down some time so anyway we looked at doing that and um, we have a chair and table out the back because you can see there's um, some horses out there so sometimes we like to sit out there and just pretend like the highway's not here watch the horses and you can kind of see a sunset every once in a while sun rises it, it cattywampus so you really can't see it but we can pretend we can <laughs> we can see the color of the skies so um yeah it's just a place to kick back relax um a lot of times i'll turn on my radio and go out there and sit in the evening just to unwind and just shut out the world so um matter of fact roommate calls that Christy spot so yeah it's like Christy spot because <laughs> I did I just set me up a little place away from the world you guys know I'm very quiet sometimes so I like to go do that and that's they just know but anyway we're gonna work on the front um yeah that's we did Easter Monday um so let me back up a little bit. Work has been really hectic. Not only have I been called in, I'm on call 24-7. And I've been on call for, um, I don't know, probably two years now, 24-7. So anyway, I got, I'm just getting burnt out. Does that make sense? Constantly being on call. Uh, stupid things that are going on at work. I tried to go to a training and the other people in the training because it was on zoom and they could mute us the people around me were like so loud you couldn't hear the instructor they were screaming and yelling and just acting ridiculous so I'm not one to put up with that kind of stuff that's not me I'm very professional in what I do and and I, I just not me um, there were some other things going on and just I don't know it's just gone I, I don't know I, I guess I'm just no longer a good fit for that company so I got a chance to apply for another position not in that company and it's actually at a vet's office and so I applied Tuesday evening um, I applied online and then Thursday I got a call that they wanted to interview so the interview was set up for Monday then Monday evening after I interviewed they have a interview process and then they expect you to see what the job entails before they go into anything else so you spend about an hour there shadowing someone and it's just their their application process or interview process um, they take you on a tour of the building, you spend an hour shadowing. They want to make sure that you understand what the job is. So I did my tour, I did my shadow, I did my interview. Um, one of the things that 
I think they kind of regret asking me was what's the worst thing that you've ever seen and I was sitting in a vet's clinic and um, I told them a story about when I used to work at the shelter and they looked at me and even the vet goes she's not scared she's yeah she she can't we can't shock her you know so because I guess they see a lot of um, cats and dogs most of it is routine but every once in a while they'll get something in that's crazy been hit by a car and oh my god you know kind of thing and they're like can you handle that and I was like I can handle a lot I've seen a lot so they asked me what the best I, I've ever seen in animals and the worst I've ever seen in animals and my worst experience best experience and they just looked at me and said we can't shock her she says the worst we get is like hit by a car or you know something like that and a lot of times you know it is what it is sometimes they can't help them sometimes they can and I was like yeah I get it I said being hit by a car I've seen lots of those you know um, but it is what it is so anyway um, then I went for the interview Monday about 10 o'clock did my walk through my shadow all that kind of stuff um, it's exactly what I thought it would be and so she told me she had other interviews um, that afternoon for that position and that I should know something by the end of the week well last night she sent me an offer so I accepted and I will be going to work at a vet clinic back with animals like I love and it's not that I don't love people and working with people and my job was very rewarding um, but it is number one ten minutes from my house I only work Monday Wednesday Friday and every other Saturday a half day so I'll work 42 hours one week 36 the next that's it um, the only time my schedule changes is if somebody goes on vacation or you know they, they fill in for each other I'm filling in for people 48 hours at a whack I think I can handle you know filling in every once in a while during the weeks you know working five days a week ooh <laughs> so I would be back to working every other day um, yeah I, I'm pretty excited so I did accept the offer and uh, in the next two weeks I put in my resignation for the company I work with um, I put it in last night and gave my two weeks notice and I'm gonna move on but I, I need to just trust the Lord let it go what will be will be and it, it I don't know you always have that little I got to do something I, I, I what can I do it's not about what we can do it's about what he can do and yeah I forget that sometimes because I always feel like you know I'm supposed to be doing something that's just my personality and so I always feel like I and roommate it's funny because they just like sit just stop and I don't I'm always going doing something you know even in the evening however it's like just sit and I have a hard time just sitting if I'm just sitting I'm a spinning <laughs> or crocheting or you know I just I don't know I, I I don't like idle hands and so I'm always doing something and I do think that if I would quit putting it all on me to do and let God do God's thing things would go a little bit smoother but this has been a really smooth job interview job it was so it's almost like it was meant to be so I'm gonna trust in the Lord and go from there all right that's really all I have this week um, next week I hope to have some more I want to get back to working on that geo um, aqua geo thing and then I've got the I've got to find a pattern for the vest that I'm gonna make out of that green and gray so we'll see how it goes 
but I'm gonna get out of here. I do have to get my stuff done and I got laundry going. Yeah, just everyday life. So sorry there's not a whole lot of fiber, but at least you're up to date on everything going on so you'll understand if I don't get things accomplished or completed. Just remember that I record on Mondays. This Monday I didn't, so this is Tuesday morning. Um, it'll probably go to being Tuesday morning and then it'll upload either Wednesday or Thursday. Right now I record on Monday and it uploads on Wednesday. Sometimes Tuesday night, just depending on when I can get it done. So um, just remember it may shift a day, but I'll always update you. Talk to you later. Bye.